Hello everybody, my name is Jared and welcome to Jar Red Gaming. Welcome to a game called Hold the Folk. This is a game based on some Faroe's folklore and I love games that have to do with folklore. Apparently we're an archaeologist in some islands and some weird things maybe happen. I'm not sure. I think this is a horror game, but as normal I don't know anything about it. So without further ado, let's just dive straight in and play some Hold the Folk. Hold the Folk. Hold the fuel. Ooh, oh, lovely retro. <laughs> what mysteries await? Bababas, the ships and the field. It's a lovely little cottage. Ooh, we're very robotic. <laughs> I've made it to the bed and breakfast house. It looks nice. Voice acting, awesome. Okay. It does look nice. Use. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, it's in first person. For some reason, I just automatically assumed it was going to be in third. Ooh. But here we are. Here we are on some lovely islands. I guess we should get checked in. Hello, sheep. Hello, sheep. Oh, the B&B host must be a shepherd. A lot of cool sheep here. Cool, bro. Is that a camera we're holding? That thing is massive. Hi, sheeps. Whoa, okay, come out. I'm gone. Jesus. Hello? <laughs> we... Uh, hmm. Ah, you must be the researcher coming to see if that build site is free from any archaeological artifacts. Yep, that's me. The plane ride was long. I'm ready to rest up before I get to work. It's nice to meet you. Welcome to my bed and breakfast. Come on in. Your room is right up the stairs. Come and meet me in the dining area after you've settled in. Okay, thanks a lot. Oh, this place is lovely. Look at that lovely fire. It's very cozy. Okay, I'll go upstairs first, like he said. I don't want to make him mad. This is really lovely. Wow. See-through windows. You don't ever see see-through windows in games. Even in lo most modern games, you don't have see-through windows. No active mirror, though. Wow. Textures are a little wobbly. This is very lovely. Which one's my room? Ah, the one that's open. Hello. I'll just place my very expensive camera here, unsecured. I'm sure the proprietor of this place will not steal my stuff. I'm sure of it. Are we checked in? Is this checked in? What a lovely place. All right, let's go downstairs and meet our new best friend. Excuse me, new best friend. I'm here. Hello. I wanted to ask you if you know anything about the Hulda folk. <sighs> Hulda folk? What's that about? Mean creatures that roam certain spots of this island. Oh. They are very territorial and will do anything to keep people away from their land. Didn't the builders that hired you tell you of these creatures? No. No, they didn't. But this is a joke, right? Our face. Oh, no. No joke at all. It is well known to the Faroese people that these creatures exist. But these builders that hired you, they don't seem to be aware of the Hulda folk. They must be foreigners. Of course. Well, you're right on that. The builders are from the US. They want to build a hotel here. Of course they do. But let's say these Hulda folk are real. How would you get rid of them? <laughs> you can't. If you find out the build site is filled with Hulda folk, you must stop the build project. And you must stay away from the site. The creatures are invisible, and they can reveal themselves at will. What? Sometimes you can capture them on film, too. Ooh. How can I tell if Hulda folk live there? 
keep a lookout for holes and mounds where they live in. Dirt circles on the ground indicate a hull the folk was there digging for worms. And if there is a machine on site that is damaged, there could have been hull the folk activity. Okay, sure. I will take your advice then. You sound a lot like gremlins. I'm only warning you. There's a common misconception about hull the folk. Most people think they are not dangerous, but that isn't the case. I've had my encounters with the creatures before, and they don't like to be bothered. They have also taken some of my sheep. Oh, but you have so many. I appreciate your warning and your hospitality. Now I must go lay down a bit. I'm tired. How about the gun? Our face is so terrifying. It's about time I take a drive in the build site so I can survey it. Sometimes there's subtitles and sometimes there isn't. Interesting. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's foggy out. Oh no. Oh no. Can I use the bathroom first? There's a very, very useful toilet here that I can't use. Oh well. Where's my fr Where's my new best friend? Oh, I guess we're just gonna leave. I don't have a. Ooh. This this is this can't be good. Hello. Anything in the garage? Can't see through that window. He must be hiding secrets. All right, sheeps. I'm off. Wish me luck. Let's pray they hold the folk. Don't catch me. Do we go in the car? I'm assuming we go into our little Jeep Land Rover thing here. <sighs> off we go. Time to discover some secrets. Oh. Okay, it's time to start taking some photos and notes. Oh boy, oh boy. Very interesting. For someone who's never been here before, he's navigating this island in the fog quite easily. Okay, okay, what do we have here? What do we- oh, okay. Left click to take a photo. Gotcha, whatever you are. Odd circles of dirt. Are there any animals living here? Maybe, maybe all the folk. <laughs> maybe. Uh, well, yes, we're going to scoff at their legends and we will be sorely disappointed, no doubt. I'm sure, well, I'm sure we won't live to regret it. Ooh, some standing stones. Are we not going to take pictures? Okay, I was going to say, we're not going to take pictures of the freaking standing stones. That's... could be the doing of people from hundreds of years ago. But more than likely, it's just been currently placed here by travelers or workers. I don't see that that logic is very reasonable. I mean, cairns and standing stones are very common of ancient cultures. What is that? Ooh! Ooh, we caught a herd of folk. A damaged radiator. Um. This needs some repairing. There's also another artifact on my photo. <laughs> Damn camera. Artifact, huh? Are you not very smart? He's not very smart. Our character's not very bright. That's okay. Okay, well, blissfully ignorant, we're gonna go into this cave complex. <laughs> Why this is here? Must belong to the Holdefolk. Okay. This could be Holdefolk. Or I'm being pranked. Definitely getting pranked! What? <gasps> Did we just get nabbed? Oh! Oh, I was not expecting that! He nabbed us! Oh! Why? Hey, you bastards! Get off of me! Ow, ow! Am I supposed to do something or am I just looking around and getting stoned to death? This is bullshit! Did we die? Oh, the archaeologist was never seen again. I want more. The mound was searched, but it was found empty. No. He has remained missing ever since. But they pummeled me into a pulp, of course. They didn't find me. That was it. I can't believe it. 
I wanted so much more. That was so compelling and interesting. I, I love folklore, and I love games based on folklore. You guys, developers, please make more of this. This was so cool, and a bit of folklore that we're not used to seeing. I've never heard of Hold of Folk. If it's a real folklore, it's very intriguing, and I definitely want more. There you have it, guys. That's Hold of Folk. It was a lot shorter than I was hoping and expecting, but it was really intriguing and just really compelling. Um, I really hope that the developers take this and run with it because it was really, really cool and I would definitely play a longer game and I think lots of people would. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know your thoughts on the whole of folk. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because there's going to be more games where this came from. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon and I'll see you in the next video.